<laughs> All right, I'll say I bid you greetings this evening of your time as you create time to exist. How are you all? Thank you very much. Are you all alive? Yes. Thank you very much. We will begin this interaction this evening of your time with a discussion about a common misunderstanding upon your planet. And that may be entitled free will. There is some question in your society about the idea between predestination and free will. If my life is predestined, an individual may ask, then how is it that I have free will? For they would seem in that sense to be mutually exclusive. We have shared the following analogy with your civilization and will do so again with a slight expansion. Recognize, although you create yourself at this time, to exist upon what seems to be many levels, differing levels of consciousness, you are in your purest form, so to speak, your higher self, as you call it, a 100% whole being, living all those realities that you have created simultaneously. It is, your higher self, the totality of all the lives you have ever led, as well as the totality of all the lives you will ever lead. In that sense, it is already complete. Therefore, its perspective in the way that you create this reality is a bit more expanded than the perspective that you assume or don when you create yourself into this reality. The parameters of this reality necessitate, by definition, that you do forget, colloquially speaking, much of your totality. That allows you, within this exploration, to have focus, to be the being you are, the individual you are now, without all the recognition of all the other individuals you have been. For realize, if you were, right now, aware of all of them, you would have quite a bit of difficulty in remaining focused as a singular personality. Therefore, by definition, you impose upon yourself, colloquially speaking again, a forgetfulness of 99.9%, .9%, if not more, of the totality of your being. Now understand, from the perspective of your higher self, it is all free will. But what may be the free will of your higher self may seem as predestination to your physicalized self. Again, because you have cut yourself off from the broad focus of your higher self. And in that sense, it has the whole picture where you create yourself to discover parts of the puzzle, making the picture. So recognize, very generalized, in very generalized ways, your higher self's free will expresses itself as certain individual discoveries. You may again use the following analogy. If your higher self through its free will determines that you will walk down a particular hall, then walk down that hall, you will. In that sense, you are predestined to walk down that hall. Now understand, it is not literally that you will walk down a hall. This is an analogy. Where the free will of your physicalized self, however, comes in, is the style in which you walk down that hall. You can walk down that hall in many ways, with many attitudes, with many different perspectives. And that walk down that hall can be very pleasant or very miserable. For you are perfect creators. And even when you create misery, it is perfect misery. So do understand again. You can simply walk down that hall. You can skate down the hall. You can skip down the hall. You can run down the hall. You can fill the hall with water and swim down the hall. You can freeze the water and ice skate down the hall. 
You can allow the water to be snowed upon and ski down the hall. There is no limit in the free will of your physicalized self in how you will experience that hall. Now allow us to expand upon this, for we have said this before. The idea being that the free will of your higher self will always be quite general. It is not that it will say you will experience any particular aspect of polarity. They are neutral explorations. For instance, it is not that one would incarnate to necessarily have to experience lack of abundance. However, your higher self as a generalized theme may have that one of the individualized explorations or halls that you will walk down is simply the exploration of abundance, period. Now what this means is you can create through your free will negative abundance, which you label lack, poverty, which in a sense is a type of abundance, or a positive abundance, which you label wealth, having needs met in that sense. But again, the generalized theme of your higher self is just that, very general. And you can always have the choice to experience it in a positive way. Remember, as we have said, all situations are fundamentally neutral, blank, and have no inherent meaning. If you wish to look at it that way, they are simply props in the play of life you are creating. Therefore, you assign the meaning. The meaning you assign determines the effect you get. So recognize you are not predestined to suffer. You are not predestined to explore negativity. The choice of polarity will always be part of the free will of your physicalized self. So the themes of exploration of your higher self will always be quite general. Therefore, recognize if you are now creating in your life any negative manifestations, they are simply your willingness to take that neutral prop and label it negative. That means that you will, in a sense, crawl down very miserably that hole. But it is simply your choice in that way of how to experience any of those generalized themes. There is not a positive or negative built into it. So again, you can now begin to realize that you are not predestined for misery. You are not predestined for negativity. You, in fact, are predestined for total neutrality. And in that sense, you will always have the free will to determine how you will experience your reality. Do understand that from your physicalized self perspective, this is all the free will you actually need in order to create the life you prefer. So we simply steer your thinking in this direction so you will begin to take back the power in your life. For you can only change your life if you are willing to own it. If you build in limitations, such as I am predestined in that way to experience negativity, it will seem to happen to you. It will seem to overwhelm you. But it is all a definition. And in a sense, though possibly subconsciously, Many individuals use the idea of predestination or even negative karma as an excuse to continue to create negative realities. Simply allow me the pleasure and joy to inform you that this is not at all necessary and it is up to you in how you will experience your reality. Before we begin with the sharing, Allow me to also say, one of the products of creating time is creating the corresponding processes that take time. When you have a conception, when you have any idea, at the moment you have that idea, you 
are, by definition, that idea. Now, the tendency or habitual ritual in your society is to call that simply an idea with no weight that you must then create a process in order to have it manifest. Recognize this is valid, but simply also only a belief. There need not be the process unless you believe the only way you will validate the change is through a process. The moment you have that conception, the moment you feel that joy, you are that being. If you will but continue to now act as though you already are that being, no process is necessary. You are now vibrating as that being and will attract the reality necessary to continue to be that being. So do recognize it is all within your grasp and it is all your free will, your choice. Therefore, in summarizing, the having of the idea is the same as the being of the idea. All you need simply do is act that way. You will immediately be that being. The being that you have chosen to be up till now has been supported by the universe by much the same mechanism, your assumptions about it. Therefore, the universe will also support you when you will begin to be a true and full expression of that which you have chosen in this life to be. Ponder that for a while and allow me to thank you and express my appreciation for your willingness to co-create amongst the many levels you have created to open yourself up to the higher self, not that you have, but that you are. And recognize this is the transformational time upon your planet. The ending of a cycle of 25,000 years, you may label the cycle of limitation. You are entering the cycle of integration. By definition, you would only know, colloquially speaking, that you are integrating if within that transformational lifespan you first created the limitation so that you can feel it, so that you can experience that limitation and then transform from it. So this is a very special opportunity, mass consciousness speaking, in that the entire planet has chosen to transform. Individuals, even within the 25,000 year cycle of limitation, were always able in that sense to take back their power and create their reality consciously. But there was not, shall we say, such a wide support system. So therefore, because it is now happening en masse, you will now find the ease to attract many other individuals to allow you to continue to be who you are and allow yourself to be of service to them as well as allowing them the gift of being of service to you. And for this, again, I thank you and ask you now, how may I be of service to you? Sharing. <laughs>